So this right here is one of my favorite spots. This spot. This is like, you feel like you're in the ocean, but the waves don't get up to you, so they don't crash on you. And you get to witness the majesty of the waves crashing. There's almost never anybody here. This is at the base of uh, the Cerritos Beach Point in Todos Santos, Mexico. And it's easy to get to. It's a quick little walk around from a very accessible and famous surf beach. And everybody stays over there. See where the surfers are? Right there on the top. Trying to catch these lovely waves as they come from the Pacific Ocean around the point. And oh, look at that one. Lovely. That's awesome. And then it's like, oh, well, you know, I'm tired of looking at these big, beautiful waves. I'm going to look this way down this incredible coastline of crashing waves. Oh, here goes another one. Woo! Ugh. Anyways, normally Sherry actually stays on the beach back there. Today, uh, I, uh, I came around and said, oh, I'm going to go walk around the point. And she said, oh, I'm going to come with you. So, number one, oh, and, and what I want to bring up is just, you know, it's little uncomfortable things that allow us to grow in our relationship with our spouses, with our friends, with our kids. Little uncomfortable things that we're not used to doing. And one of the things that Sherry absolutely loves to do is to look around little tide pools. You know, tide pools like these things right here. And in them, there'll be sea cucumbers and urchins and, and mollusks and crabs and little like little hermit crabs. and. She will pick up every single one that she can and pet it and hold it in her hand and say, Ooh, look at these cute little things. And I always make this face. Mm. Mm. I don't want to look at the cute little nasty sea creature. It's not a nasty sea creature. They're actually really cool. But I don't want to touch them. I don't want to hold them. And, th and today I said, you know what? I am going to hold your sea urchin. So she picked up a little tiny baby sea urchin and put it in my hand. And, okay, it really was cute. And you can feel its little suckers kind of cling on to you and then start to move across your hand. They move surprisingly quickly. And then she's like, okay, now you get a bigger one. And then she took the biggest one that she could find and put that in my hand. And of course my facial expression went, ah. And she put it in my hand and all of a sudden it starts crawling across your hand. And it's like, this thing is incredibly cool. So, Cherry, I understand your urgency. Then, there's a spot right over here on top of that rock. I don't know if I'm pointing at the right spot or not. Yeah, that one right there. And you can sit there and get splashed by almost no waves and feel like you're surrounded by the water like this, like I am right here. And Sherry's like, no, no, I should get back to the kids. Ooh, there's a nice one. And she said, nope, I'm gonna do the thing that I don't normally do, do the uncomfortable thing because you love to do this. And I'm going to sit here with you and watch the waves. And we sat there for 10 minutes together watching these giant waves come in and crash. And it's like, that was awesome. So today we just did two uncomfortable things, choosing to be uncomfortable because there is no growth in discomfort. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. There's no growth in comfort. Growth comes from discomfort. And today we were both discomforted into growth for each other and just shared that little bitty bitty moment of our lives together and it was that much better and so I guess my 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 challenge my suggestion is what what can you do that's uncomfortable that can help build your relationship understanding your love for somebody else what can you do Sherry was just saying oh you should talk about picking a horse I said what the heck are you talking about picking a horse um, and what she means is, is um, picking something to be excited in, in the same genre that your spouse or friend is interested in. So years ago, uh, I've always enjoyed watching Formula One racing. Yes, I know it's And Sherry's like, well, he's going to watch that every Sunday. I may as well. Pick somebody to choose. Oh, here's a good one that's coming in. Oh, hold on a second. Here we go. Oh, baby. Let's see if we get a nice crash off that rock. Can you get the full Monty in here? Oh, no splash up. Wasn't that big? 
uh, I'm going to pick a horse. I'm going to pick somebody. And so she looked through the uh, grid of drivers and found the most attractive person to her, which was at the time Jensen Button, who raced for uh, McLaren at the time. Jensen Button along with Lewis Hamilton. And she's like, okay, well, I'll cheer for Jensen Button. And I would make, so I would cheer, I would, I would mention something about Formula One, and she'd say, well, how did Jensen Button do? And she'd start to get interested. Well, then Jensen Button retired. His teammate was Lewis Hamilton, and of course, then she ended up cheering for the uh, seven-time world champion through seven times of his world championing. And it's something that even in a little way that we could do together. Sure, I watch a lot more of it than she does, but there's a little bit of interest. I was saying it was uncomfortable because she doesn't like Formula One racing. Well, now she kind of does. Not to the level that I do, for sure, but something that we can share together, we can enjoy together. So just little things that you can do to, um, to grow your relationship together, to, to choose to love each other a little bit more. So get uncomfortable. Go, go find something to do that you know that your partner likes to do and go learn how to do that with them. Even in a little way, even holding one little uh, sea urchin. And for the sake of this, I'm gonna go find a sea urchin, which would be even better because I have never actually picked up a sea urchin by myself because the last two that I touched, she gave to me. So let's go see if I can find myself a little sea urchin, hopefully a little tiny one, because I don't really want to pick up a big one. Lovely, lovely waves. Big ones. So she likes looking in all these little tide pools here for all the fishies. See those urchins? See those little pokey things down there? There's usually some that are closer to the surface, so I'll go get one that's closer to the surface. We're here at the sea urchin factory. See these little guys in here? See those nice big ones? Yeah, <laughs> I'm not going for that one. I'm gonna go for this little itty bitty one right here. See his little tongues move? Let's see if I can get him off of there. Ooh, they're really on there, aren't they? They're really stuck on there. Let me pick them up this way. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, but I just touched a sea urchin by myself. That's a win. I gotta figure out how to get these things off now. Well, at least I'm not scared to touch them anymore. That's a step in the right direction. I'm gonna have to get some more instructions from Sherry. So get uncomfortable, go touch a sea urchin, go do something that somebody else would love for you to learn. And stretch yourself, push yourself to go learn something new.